What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Christopher Rahman here. How y'all doing on this fine day? This is my first episode of my recap, my first celebrity Big Brother recap, and I want to recap a couple. I just want to recap a few things that happened from the premiere because, as most of you know, uh, Celebrity Big Brother Three has premiered um, earlier today. Um, so, why don't we go over so what's happened. So, obviously, the premiere, they announced uh, three house... They announced uh, 11 um, celebrities that's going to be on uh, Big Brother. Um, and, and because of the COVID situation, the Omicron, and for the safety, they have each celebrity come in the house one by one. And then the introduction and blah, 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 blah. And then, um, after the dust has settled, they got settled into the house. Um, Julie called them to the living room and... Um, announced, announced the first HOH competition. And whoever wins it will, put, would, will be safe, but have to put two people up. And then the veto competition will where you can fight for safety. Um, for, before that, they pop champagne in and whatever. Now, on this, now, they asked the house guests to go to the living room, go to the living room, go to the backyard, where they found, um, they found beer cans and found beer cans tied up. And it's a winter gala theme competition where basically you have to hang on to the straps and the the beer bottles and whoever, whoever's last standing will become the first HOH will become the first HOH of the season and but someone there had to be the the the, the ceremony master which means somebody had to sit out for this, and Julie made that clear to everybody. But whoever set, but he, she also made it clear that whoever chooses to sit out will will not be eligible to be HOH. Having that said and done, Todd Bridge volunteered to sit out, so it's up to the ten house guests to, um to play to hang on for dear life and hopefully not fall off because if you fall you're out first person who remains there will become the first HOH so the competition started and now one minute has started and Lamar was the first one eliminated and then it keeps, and then competition keep, and it keeps going from there until it comes to the final three people up on the thing, which was Todrick, Misha, and Teddy. And once that happens, um, once that happens, uh, the competition going around. Why? Why don't I? They things of things. I'm there's. Things are gonna. Things are happening. I want you to watch that. Watch this particular clip, so you know what I'm talking about. Are you gonna talk to me if you get it? I think they're making a deal. I can either try to beat Misha, who's looking like Hercules in drag right now. She ain't going nowhere. Or I can try to make a deal with her, and that way I would be able to bow out gracefully and be able to compete next week. Will you put me up? I will not put you. I will not put you up. Thank you. Okay, come out. Oh my and god. And Todrick is down. Misha. What's up, babe? If I drop, will you keep me? I, it's so early to make promises. I love Todrick. I don't think so, but I don't want to be a liar. I really don't know how this game is going to unfold over the week. I really like Todrick, so I knew I wasn't going to put him out, so I just want to give him some peace of mind. But Teddy's trying to make a deal, and it is too soon in this game to start promising everybody safety. I just, I hope you can appreciate that no, I truthfully I don't know it, the answer. Out. Now, after when that happened, 
Teddy dropped and Misha and it's a it been made official that Misha Misha Tate is the has become the first HOH of the of the season, which means she has the responsibility to nominate two people for two celebrities for eviction this week. Um, now let me go back to this for a minute. She's what she said that is too early in the game to make any promises and stuff. While honestly, I she does have a point there. She she does have a point. While I get where she's coming from a little bit because, as most of you know, last season, season twenty three, where Frenchie, I don't know if he's watching this or not. Shout out to you, dude. I absolutely adore you. Um, Frenchie kind of promised too many people safety, and he played too hard, too fast, and went off. But go, but enough of that's that's him for uh, that's a subject for another day. But while I get where she's coming from when saying it's too early to make promises, here's the problem with this issue. Here's the problem with this statement. There's a problem with that particular statement. There, you say that it's too early to make promises in this game. When you just pop, when you promised Todrick that you weren't gonna put him up on the block, I. So my thing is, yeah, you can promise Todrick safety, but when Teddy asked if you would keep her safe, if she dropped, and you said you can't really promise anybody, I don't know where where the logic here, because. You say that it's too early to make promises, but you prop, but you literally promise Todrick safety. I just don't know where it's all this. I don't know. I'm just confused, but by, by all that, but not up to me to decide. She's she's made it clear that she's not gonna put up Todrick, so that's that. Um. After that, said and set settled. Julie announced. Uh, Julie comes back on, comes back on and announced um, a power, a twist, a new twist, which involves a special power, which is found in the gala box. In the um, gala box, this power has a blessing, is a blessing, a courage, which this particular power. Has a ble will benefit somebody's game and a curse, which probably gonna hurt somebody's game. Obviously, we don't know what. Obviously, none of us knows what the power is until, which Julie mentioned at the end that she will announce this in tomorrow in today's in tomorrow's episode, which is today because I'm recording this at almost a quarter to three a.m. quarter to three in the morning. Um in tonight's episode at nine o'clock so we'll get into more information so once i get more information about what this power is about um i will do another episode of that plus the veto comp plus the nomination ceremony and who misha decided to put up which misha i'm a little bit worried that she might put up Mar marai because she has mentioned in the competition that Marai is a stronger player. So my prediction of the nomination is probably going to be Marai and probably Teddy as a pawn because I think, I don't know. I don't know if she's going to do that, but that's just my prediction as far as nominations goes. But yeah, it's still early in the week. Things could change with the blink and a night, so we just have to see how this goes. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, they're gonna reveal the pow- they're gonna reveal what kind of secret power this is in tomorrow's- in tonight's episode at 9 o'clock. So, we'll just have to see how this goes. But, um... Hadn't said all that, um, after that, um, uh, you would think you would see the- the live feeds after, but for some reason, CBS comes out that says it's delayed until Friday. So obviously there's been some speculation there's speculation going on on um, why why that happened. Uh, either somebody from there probably already quit the game or what. 
So there's some speculation going on about it. So we don't know why. So we're just gonna have to see how it goes, especially the especially how the live feed is. So yeah. But anyways, guys, um, that's really all it for me. Um, I will do another episode once tonight's episode finish airing. Um, and. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like this, you want to see more of this, I will be doing this every single month, every day, every single day. I will be doing this after every episode is released um, and aired on Paramount Plus and whatever. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. I will post, I will get this posted as soon as I can. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, expect the unexpected. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Good night, everyone. Take care.